Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right.
I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a jobbernal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Revelio. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready.
There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. Dick thinks, but, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Most excellent.
I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke.
wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. What are you up to now? Wonder who lives here? Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? Oh, hello again. How nice to see you. And yes, I did. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her.
This looks intriguing. Rebellion. An entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. <laughs> this mentions in theory and something about it being Bardolf's turn next. I'll look after Rebellion. Him. Brother is all right. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Bardolf? 
What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no. No. This can't be. Oh. 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 I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Adam Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, Bardolf! Bardolf, my dear, dear brother. Has the situation with Ranrock's loyalists improved? I'm afraid not. I fear my brother is only one of many who will have suffered at their hands by the time they move on. If they ever do. Has the situation with Ran... I'm afraid not. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Such arrogance. I've never seen a sword like it. <laughs>